Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And, we are going to start a brand new project today. And it's going to be interesting, and maybe even a little fun. But, uh, I'd like to expand my fleet a little, now that I have a battleship. Let's see, I have a battleship, frigate, corvette, which I need to go refit the corvette with better weapon out, uh, loadout, I think. A cutter, which probably also needs better weapon loadout. But anyway, I would like to make a light missile cruiser. So, how are we going to do this? Let's, well, let's grab some dark, ba dark gray basic and some girders. Uh, we're going to need some power reactors, some power stabilizers, some thrusters, some missile stuff. Uh, missile stuff. So, so far, I have been building the bridge, well, blocking out the bridge first. And, as you know, I use 5x5x5, five by five by five, no, five, yeah, 5x5x5 five by five by five squares in my templates. Cubes, I guess, 5x5 five by five would be a square. 5x5x5 five by five by five is a cube. Anyway, so I've been starting out by blocking out my, my, uh, my bridge first. And I've been saying roughly, roughly a 10% of the length of the ship is the length of the bridge, roughly. So I was thinking maybe like a 200 meter ship this time. Two, maybe 300 meters. So we are going to give it maybe 20, 30, 20 or 30, um, uh, meters of length of bridge. So let's see, general. Uh, that's 10, 15. Let's see, I don't really know how I want it to look. Let's go 20. 200, I think 200 meters would work fine. So there we go, is the bridge proper. And we're going to come in here. And, uh, let's grab a two hallway, let's load that, let's paste it, we're just going to stick that there, say this is where the hallway begins. Let's see, let's grab some hallway doors, because I like to have a couple of rooms off the bridge, uh, like a bathroom and a, like a conference meeting type room. And then we're going to have... I don't know if I want stairs or an elevator. It's probably going to end up being an elevator. Because I do want this to be elevated above. I'd like my bridges to stick up a little. So, we're going to come down 10. Oh, why not 15? There we go. And then, down in this way, toward the back, we're going to have all the RP stuff. You know, like, um... Oh... You know, like RP stuff. Like, um, living quarters and things like that. There we go. Alright, so, I'm basically putting this here as a stop block for the systems. I want the systems to be closer to the front. So, let's build us a reactor. Let's build it right here. Yeah. How much reactor is that? Power. Something like right here. Oh, no. Oh, stop that. Everything's off. That is a healthy reactor. Let's see what chamber size is 250. Reactor is a level 19. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's come out this way. And. Da -da 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 and just for sake of this, let's throw some lines out that takes us to about 200 meters. Uh, let's undo that. Let's set you to 50. 50 meters back here. That takes us to 150. 
And we're going to call this here. And we're going to come up, I don't know, 10. Just blocking something out. And up here in the nose piece, this is where we're going to have... Well, this is going to be the nose piece. So let's do 5x5s five five here. Just because. And how is that looking... Um, is it looking stable-wise? That's looking pretty stable. Um, let's try to give it a little more. There we go. And how about we do something like this? Yeah. Have sort of like a traditional, or not even traditional, a wedge shape for the, for the nose of the ship. And let's throw a few thruster modules on back here. So that way I can maneuver it just a little. And it's not like a tremendous amount of maneuvering. Just a little bit of maneuvering. Let's see. We're just blocking out a shape. Uh, right here is going to be the weapon bay. Or the weapon port. I haven't even explained to you what I, my vision for this ship. But as a missile, uh, missile, a missile ship, I want it to be long and not particularly wide. Maybe, maybe go out five here. Maybe. Uh, but my idea is to have this whole area right here designated for missiles, and I want them to fire straight up. And I want them to be missile beam, so they'll be able to lock on, so they fire straight up and make a huge arc. And go smack their enemy. That's sort of what I have envisioned, and we're going to tinker with a few different plans and ideas and missile strengths and things like that. And then across the port and starboard um, sides here, the port and starboard, I want uh, AMS turrets. So it's going to be a missile cruiser destroyer, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. I think missile cruiser sounds cooler. Because missile destroyer sounds like it destroys missiles. I don't know. We'll figure out a name for it. Uh, uh, right now, we're just going to call it a a zero MB from missile boat. And there it is. I need to clean up. I need to clean up these blueprints. All right, anyway, so we have the the bridge kind of uh, blocked out. Uh, there's something I do want. Let's see where is it? It's a five. Blocker, block bunker. See that? That needs to come out five, doesn't it? How's my. All right. I also need to spin it this way. There we go. And that does need to go out five. Oh, why not? Let's. We have some time. Let's throw. Let's put the elevator together. Now. I have my elevator set up here. I have uh, templated all the different parts to the elevator, including the top, the middle. Oh, that's not going to do right. Oh. And the landing. Let's load the landing. Let's get it going properly. There we go. Now let's do the middle load, because it'll allow me to place that better. There we go. Ooh. The block off. Do you want to do... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it matters to me. So let's snag our landing again. Load paste. Now let's grab our middle load paste. There we go. So I don't have to build an elevator every time I have it templated. Now there are parts of it I am going to have to build. And I need to rip these two out. I need to just, I need to redo my elevator templates. What are you doing? Because I plan on putting a door here so um, I'll be able to hit the button. Seems like on the battleship there's a block that I have to do that for. And 
I'm an idiot, so uh, five. So I need to get rid of these. No, you're not an idiot. Oh yes, you are an idiot. Yes, that is that is true. I just want this to open the other way. Can't have it open the other way. We're gonna have it come off to the sides. There we go. And another button over here. Okay. Print those. Selection and paste. There we go. All right. Let's see, and I need a bottom. So let's come this way and go one, two, three, four, five. And elevator bottom, load and paste. Make sure it's going the right way. Because don't you hate it when your bottom's the wrong way? And let's load up a control. And that goes right here. See, I put all the logic stuff right here, so it's nice and easy to to uh, set up. See? And boom, done. Except there is some something I like to add. I like to add a a rail block there. And that is so when this door is closed, you can or yeah, you know, when this door is closed, you can tell whether or not the elevator is going up or down. Let's uh, see. In fact, you can hit this button and say, oh, elevator is going down. So now let's go U, 5, elev. See, I even book, uh, bookmarked, blueprinted the elevator lift itself. And there is another thing that I need, really need to add to the, to the uh, template itself is rail speed control. Uh, you don't have to, but I like to add it. Ah! So now the elevator moves a little more quickly, and now let's set up so the door, so I can use a door. Let's see. I would like an activation module here and here, and a knot here and here, and this controls that. Where is the elevator? What's with the knot? Well, the knot is going to go to... Let's send it down. The knot is going to go to the door. Uh, we're just going to use Plex door and Glass door. We have that knot selected. And there we go. Alright, so now... Theoretically, once the lift actually hits this up here, if it ever does, the store pops open. All right, and when it's not there, it pops closed. Uh, let's throw up some symmetry so I don't have to build this door twice. I know we so complicated. Oh, stop that. There we go. Now when I hit this, when the lift gets down here, it will, when the lift gets down here, oh, these aren't connected to anything. Durr. And just for wiring's sake, we're going to wire you up here, and you're going to hit that button. Just for wiring sake, we're going to wire you up here. You're going to hit that button. Now, and now that it's left this, the store pops back open. And when the lift gets down here, elevator platform, whatever it is, these doors will pop open. Awesome! And then, let's see here. Let's do something like this. Uh, do a two hallway corner, load and paste. Does that work? Like this. 
And now all's right with the world again. P loading. Paste. And paste. These will probably go to airlocks. And let's see here. Uh, where was what I wanted? Or the blocker bunk. Let's load it and... Now my thrusters are in the way. Okay. Ah, uh, we'll deal with we will deal with the internals later. But I have this set up right now, uh, ready to go. I hope. All right. Next time we're gonna work on the uh, on the weapon system, I believe. Now that I have little of this set up, no. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do next. We're going to do something next time. I have been JW608. This has been StarMade. I'll dig you cats later. Next time we're going to work on something and it's going to be important. Hmm. <laughs>